Hey guys, welcome back. Um, you guys really haven't been seeing me around and, and such, but my name is Poe, and I'm here with Kayla, and we'll be talking about online schooling. Yeah, Poe and I are both doing online school. Um, I'm working on my master's, he's finishing up high school, and man, with everything being on Zoom and having all your homework be online and having it be hard to ask questions, all this kind of stuff, uh, we just kind of wanted to talk about how it's been going for us and then maybe share some like life hacks for school with you if you're struggling in the same ways that we are. Um, maybe it'll be helpful. So we're just going to get right into it, talking about school, things you probably don't want to talk about, <laughs> but you need to talk about. So um, Poe, where do you go to school? What grade are you in? And yeah, we'll just start there. So right now I go to Burbank and I'm a junior and yeah. I'm kind of in a boat as you guys like who wants to wake up to go to school at home and be looking at a computer for about five hours of the day where you could be sleep all day. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going through that struggle. I had to get um, like new glasses that have the blue light filter on them because I was getting headaches from staring at a screen for so many more hours than I usually do because not only being online for school, but then you're on your phone all day for Instagram and all that kind of <laughs> stuff. So you're still looking at screens Screen even when you're day. not in school. So um, what has been maybe the hardest part of online school for you? Um, the hardest part for me is like staying focused and like being interact and just, just show your attention. Cause like it's a thousand other stuff that's going on in my mm -hmm. house. Like I could be in class and then my little sister runs in her room and tries to talk to me or or I can smell my mom cooking food and like <laughs> I want to go downstairs but I can't because I'm in class like mm -hmm. it's a whole lot of distractions while you're in um, school and the one thing that's been uh, messing with me is my sleep schedule because you know we're at home so I can stay up to like yeah. four o'clock in the morning but I got to wake up at like eight and it's like I'm dead in class. So I just want to go to sleep because I'm in class on my bed. So it's like giving me the urge to just go to sleep and just not even go to class. I've been so distracted with my online school that like I don't have siblings or my mom around, but I have my dog and like you've seen her. She's real cute and real annoying because she literally she started doing this thing where she will throw her tennis ball at me. She'll sit next to me and she'll like make her head go crazy and throw the ball and it will like hit my laptop, it will hit me and she just stares at me like, <laughs> this is your job. You're home all day, clearly you're here for me, not for you. And it makes me nuts. I'll try putting her outside my door and I'll close the door and then she just gives these little like protest barks that are not, they're not loud, they're not mean, but they're just like, Ruff. like, <laughs> like I'm here and you're ignoring me. So um, that's not great and it's like truly, the distraction and then I feel I don't know if you feel this way but once you get distracted suddenly there's a thousand other things out there that distract <laughs> yeah. you it's like just the dog does the one thing and then I look away from my computer and I won't look back for like an hour because I'm like oh I could go do this oh I could go do that yeah. and my mind is gone yeah that's how it is with me like once I get distracted I can like start looking around my room and like I'll be like oh this shoebox is at a place and next thing you know <laughs> I look up and my teacher's talking about a whole different subject like yeah. it's like man so yeah it's it's a lot of distractions at home mm -hmm. doing online it can yeah, you gotta have a lot of focus you do I when we were asking what your word for 2021 was going to be mine was focus because I was like <laughs> I need it so much and I don't know about you, but like Netflix is always calling my name, <laughs> things like that, where yeah. it's just like, well, maybe I can work on my computer while I watching. Watch and yeah. that's a lie. <laughs> that is not true. That can't happen. You can't have the right amount of focus when you're watching TV, but it's, it's right there. And there's like nobody to tell you not to. Yeah. So it's basically just you on your own and like me, like I get like notifications when like, oh, like like a basketball game is finna come on or like a Netflix show. Yeah. So like when I get that notification, it's like I'll check my phone and I'll look up at the screen and I'll check it again uh -huh. and then all of a sudden Netflix is on my phone and I'm yep. just watching it. And like, <laughs> and in my head, I'm doing perfect multitasking, <laughs> but when I'm looking at my computer and what I'm doing, it's like, I'm 
<laughs> I'm lost. So yeah, yeah, it's 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 just tough mentally, like mm-hmm. just to stay focused. And I think it's kind of exhausting too to focus on something in that way because at least when you're in a classroom, you can be kind of distracted thinking of other things, but still you have school all around you. And I think it's kind of exhausting to have to train your brain to focus so singularly. Like when you're in school, all those distractions are gone. And so you're not having to make your brain do that. But when you're at home, your brain's doing like a thousand other things just to focus. And it is tiring. Is. I'm like, how can staring at a screen make me more tired than like going on a run? But it does. So um, what is something that you have learned about yourself or that you just learned in general for how to kind of overcome this? Or have you not? <laughs> um, for me, being an athlete, it's like, even though it's hard, I have to take care of my business and do what I do in the class because... When season starts up, everything that I don't do now is going to catch up to me when everything starts. So all the classes that if I'm failing now and when we go back to school, it's like I won't be able to play. So it's like I'm thinking ahead, like I'm thinking of still my goals and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I have to do what I have to do. So it's kind of just like Mm self-willing and just you just got to be disciplined and you got to have just the right mindset to just keep going so for me it's just me thinking of ahead like a couple of years like if i take care of this now i'll have many more gates and opportunities later on but if i don't then i'll be limited and stuck so mm-hmm. i'm just thinking about just future preferences that's impressive i i don't think very many people have the ability to do that so that's really good um I know some people download an app to their phone or to their computer where it actually blocks everything else. So it's like, all right, I'm gonna download this app and set a timer for two hours where I can't access Instagram, I can't access TikTok, I can't watch Netflix, I can't do any of that because even though in your head it's like, I'm gonna will myself to not do it. Sometimes you still need the thing to be like, (laughs) nah, you're actually blocked, you super can't do it. Yeah, yeah, I know for me, like, short-term goal setting has been really helpful where I'll be like okay you can read these 10 pages and then go on a walk around the neighborhood or read write this essay and then watch an episode of this show I've had to make a ton of like very short-term goals so I feel like I'm achieving something I'm like okay I did this thing I can check it off and then move on because sometimes it's like you have 20 homework assignments and it just seems overwhelming to do on your own I don't know if you ever feel that way where it's like I have this whole list of things to do and it's so much that my brain just turns off Yeah. and it's like, not today. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, I've had a, a lot of days like that where it's mm-hmm. like a five page essay due and then something else in math and something else in science. Mm-hmm. And then when I start thinking about it, I'll just be like, man, I'll do it in like an hour. Mm-hmm. Then that hour goes by. I'm like, all right, <laughs> let me s- let me not get lazy. I'll do it in about 10 minutes. Then that 10 minutes go by and yeah. it's like, yeah, I'm not doing it today. And it just is like, <laughs> man. Yeah, it's hard. Um, if you could give one piece of advice or like life hack for how to do well at school at home, what would it be? Um, My little hack that I do, I just like kind of like set up my room to like, <laughs> as if I was in class, like, mm-hmm. Like, I'll use, like, my bed as, like, a little desk and just Mm -hmm. my notebook, my computer, like, my phone. I don't have my phone now. Like, my phone's in my pocket Mm -hmm. or it's under my pillow. Like, I just try to, like, at least try to make it like I'm in class Mm -hmm. at the best of my ability. And I feel like if you do that, then you'll be in the mood for school because most kids or how I started off when when, uh, we was first doing Zoom, my phone would be, like, right here in front Mm -hmm. of me. It will be, like, right here. And yeah. I'm doing my work and I'll be looking down. Oh, someone uh-huh. texted me. Let me type and do that. So uh-huh. I just feel like, to be honest, I just feel like if you put your phone away and like really <laughs> focus, it's the it small be, thing, yeah. but it feels so big. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, but that's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. My roommate, her name's Emily. She will leave her phone in a different room when she's trying to do school or work. And it like personally annoys me because I'll text her and be like, 
hey, what are you doing? Like, hey, can you pick this thing up? And she doesn't respond for three hours, but it's because she's like taking the extra step to be like, this phone is not even gonna be in the same room as me. Like I am, it is out the window for her to get stuff done. And you know, works for her, probably would work for everybody. <laughs> I don't have that much discipline, but um, yeah, I think one thing that I have been doing is I eat crunchy food when I'm like studying or trying to focus on school because it keeps my brain awake. Yeah. So I'll like get a bunch of baby carrots or something and munch on them and like, I don't know, it just does something to your body to make you feel a little bit more engaged or like chew gum or something to like take out all the other energy, <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's, that's like wanting I mean, to do everything else. Yeah, like I love candy. So like, <laughs> and like, and like my mom hates it. Like I would like bring like a big old bowl of candy in my room and just put it right here. And I just be <laughs> eating it for like hours yeah. throughout the whole day just to keep me going. Mm -hmm. Or like I'll wake up early and make like a huge breakfast yeah. and bring it in my room and I'll just be eating like just to yeah. keep me going or like I'll just, or, or like I'll have to like play with something like, mm -hmm. I don't know, like sometimes I feel like a little kid by doing it, but it's like, it's what's keeping me engaged and going, so yeah. why not, so yeah. Well, I mean, my mom, like she's a teacher and she makes things for her students to be able to use their hands because it can help them, so she'll like, um, give, I don't know, we made those take a break jars uh, over the summer that were kind of a cool like distraction thing that you could play with or she puts um, exercise bands, the loop ones, she puts them around the desks so kids can put their feet on them and like bounce their feet during class and things like that and it really does help to be doing something. Um, I don't know if you've seen those balance boards that are like half of a ball with a board over it and you have to try and stand yeah, and balance. Yeah, yeah. She has those in her classroom too, so kids can like stand at standing desks in the back and like try and balance and it helps all of them focus. So it's a real thing and it sometimes does feel childish, but it's helpful. Yeah, yeah I uh, actually just bought Patrick a Lego set because he's having a hard time focusing at his work at home and he's like building Legos to help him like listen and pay attention and things like that. So, you know, whatever works for you. Yeah, because I'm not gonna lie, like it's just, it's difficult for me just staring at a screen and just sitting there and just not saying nothing. You're on mute, you can't talk to nobody, you can't, it's just you're looking at a screen and taking in information. And then you're doing that for like two or three hours, then you get like a 10 minute break, then you gotta do it again. And it's like, it could just get frustrating for me. Mm -hmm. Cause I like to talk to people and interact. So like when I can't, like interact with my classmates stuff is just like, it's just so boring to me. Oh yeah, and honestly, it's kind of biblical. Like we are not meant to exist in isolation. We're not meant to do things totally on our own. And we're just physically, mentally, emotionally not designed to be able to do that well. Like even God in God's self is community. Like God is three in one, right? Not just mm -hmm. this one person out there doing their own thing all by themselves. And from the very first page of the Bible, it's like this dude was lonely and needed a friend because he couldn't exist in the world alone. And so I think it goes into the core of who we are, that we're not supposed to be alone. And so it makes sense that like not being able to talk to people on Zoom, not being able to like have the real interactions where you're like throwing stuff at each other across the classroom <laughs> and all that, or throwing pencils in the ceiling, whatever it is, like, I don't know, it's natural, but it sucks because um, we're meant for more than sitting up in our rooms for six hours staring at a screen. Yeah, and then on top of that, like, people are already staying home 24-7 because corona, so it's like, when you're just stuck in the mm -hmm. house, like, you start a, you just start thinking of ways to, like, distract yourself and make it fun, like. Yeah. So, yeah, I know it could be hard mm -hmm. for others because mm -hmm. it's definitely hard for me. Yeah. Yeah, so if you're listening and you think you're the only one, you are not the only <laughs> you're one. You're not it's the only one. Everyone, <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have any more words of wisdom or are you tapped out? Um, another thing I would say is just keep going because, like, yeah, it may be tough right now, but when all this is said and done and if you handle your business, then it'll all be worth it because in high school, when you fail, you got to take that class again. So trust me, <laughs> if you think that you're getting away with this, you're not because yeah. 
you're going to end up taking this class again somehow. And I know you don't want to be that one senior in a freshman class. That's <laughs> awkward. So don't be that one. So my advice is just keep going and keep working. Yeah, no kidding. Um, if for anything else, because you don't want to deal with the freshman when you're a senior. You really don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't. <laughs> All right. Well, um, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, I think we'll put some of these questions up on our story so you can answer them too of like, yeah. what are the life hacks you offer? Um, what are the things you're struggling with? And actually, starting soon, we're going to start doing a study hall here at the church. So if you're one of the people who, like Poe, like me, is like, studying alone is honestly hard. We're going to start um, filling the gym with tables that are all six feet apart and making it totally COVID safe where you get your temperature checked, all that kind of stuff, wear a mask. But you can come here and get some studying done, get some help on your homework if you feel like you're falling behind or if you just want to work ahead because, you know, there's both sides to that coin. So until next time. See you guys soon. <laughs>